In cities across Japan, a quiet revolution is taking place on tiny balconies. Urban gardeners are cultivating incredibly rich soil using a centuries-old method, refined for the modern world, called bokashi. The system we know today was popularized in the 1980s by Dr. Teruo Higa, who developed a microbial inoculant known as Effective Microorganisms, or EM1. This breakthrough made the ancient art of fermentation accessible to everyone. Now, it's crucial to understand that this isn't composting, it's fermentation. Think of it like making pickles. Instead of decomposition through heat and oxygen, Bokashi uses special microbes to pickle your kitchen waste. The result? A complete breakdown in just 14 days, all happening inside a sealed container. That means no foul odors, no fruit flies, and no back-breaking work turning heavy compost piles. It's a clean, efficient solution to food waste. The word bokashi literally translates to fermented organic matter. And the magic lies in the inoculant, or bokashi bran. This bran is infused with beneficial microbes, primarily lactic acid bacteria, the same kind found in yogurt and yeast, the workhorse behind bread and beer. These microorganisms work together in an anaerobic or oxygen-free environment. When you add them to your food scraps, they immediately get to work, consuming sugars and rapidly multiplying. As they ferment the waste, did they produce lactic acid, which dramatically lowers the pH. This acidic environment pickles the food scraps, preventing the growth of microbes that cause rot and foul smells. Unlike hot composting, which burns off valuable nutrients, bokashi, fermentation locks in nearly 100% of them inside an airtight bucket, creating a nutrient-dense superfood for your soil. So what can you put in a bokashi bucket? Almost everything. Fruit and vegetable peels, coffee grounds, cooked leftovers, and even meat, fish, and dairy products. Items that are a strict no-go for traditional compost. However, you should avoid large bones, excessive liquids like soup or oil, and any food that is already rotten. It's also not recommended to process pet waste in a system you'll use for edible gardens. The process itself is incredibly simple. Step 1. Collect your daily kitchen scraps, chopping larger items into smaller pieces. Step 2. Add a thin layer of scraps to your bokashi bucket, then sprinkle a tablespoon or two of bokashi bran over the top. A good rule of thumb is one tablespoon of bran for every cup of waste. Step 3, and this is key. Press the layer down firmly to remove any trapped air pockets. An old plate or a potato masher works perfectly. Finally, seal the lid tightly. Repeat this process until the bucket is full. Once it's full, seal it one last time and let it sit undisturbed for two weeks to complete the fermentation. During this time, you might see some white fuzz forming on the surface. That's a great sign. It's a harmless mycelium network from the yeast, indicating the microbes are thriving. As the scraps ferment, they release a liquid known as bokashi tea. Most bokashi buckets have a spigot to drain this off every few days. This liquid is a potent fertilizer, but it's highly acidic and must be diluted. A safe ratio is one part bokashi tea to 100 parts water. At this dilution, it's a fantastic feed for your plants. Undiluted, it can be poured down drains to help break down sludge and control odors. After 14 days, the fermentation is complete. When you open the bucket, the contents will have a distinct sweet pickle-like smell, but they won't look much different. Now it's time to bury it. The trench method is most common. Dig a trench about 8 to 12 inches deep, add the fermented bokashi, mix it with some soil, and cover it completely. For apartment dwellers, you can mix it into a large container of soil, a soil factory, and let it mature. Once buried, the final stage of decomposition begins. The acidic material is incredibly attractive to soil life. Within 10 to 14 more days, earthworms, fungi, and native soil bacteria will swarm the material, breaking it down completely and creating rich, dark humus far faster than any traditional compost pile. Let's compare. Traditional composting is aerobic, requires a careful balance of materials, regular turning, and months of waiting all while losing nutrients as gas. Bokashi is anaerobic, requires no turning, accepts more waste types, and preserves all the nutrients. Because it's a closed system, it doesn't attract pests and can be done year-round, right in your kitchen. But, what if things go wrong? A foul, putrid smell means the wrong bacteria have taken over, usually from too much moisture or not enough bran. Just add more bran and ensure the lid is sealed tightly. If you see green or black mold, scoop out the affected area and add more bran. If you get flies, it means your lid isn't airtight. 
the benefits extend beyond convenience. For those in apartments, Bokashi is a game changer. It's a self-contained system that recycles 100% of your food waste, reducing landfill methane and saving you money on fertilizers. You are creating a premium soil amendment for free. The soil becomes alive, with better structure and moisture retention, which helps suppress diseases and pests naturally. So before you toss those kitchen scraps, consider the Bokashi method. It's a powerful tool for any gardener looking to create incredible soil, reduce waste, and grow healthier, more vibrant plants. Your soil will thank you for it, and your abundant harvest will be all the proof you need. If you're ready to explore more secrets to building incredible soil, subscribe to Soil Story. We're dedicated to sharing the knowledge that feeds life from the ground up.